friends, family. We have gathered here today in the presence of God with Alejandra and Juan to give thanks to God for the gift of marriage and to share in the joy of their unity. So when my brother asked me to be his best man, he didn't take the formal route. You know that really boring route where you send somebody like a flask or like a custom like cigar case? Nah, my brother, he texts me, you're my best man. And I said, I, and that, that was pretty much it. I remember at one point we were in an elevator in our apartment building and he was like, yo, you know, I'm here for you. If you ever need anything, I got you. I'm like, please don't do it. He goes, I just want to say I love you. And I threw myself on the floor. But he was always different. Like he always spoke from the heart. And he is the closest thing I had to a father figure. So I just want to thank him for that. Alejandra is in your ordinary girl. I could always count on you to make me feel better. Very quickly, our nights of tears would turn into genuine laughter. Ale is my best friend. I've known her for most of my life. And that's the thing about Ale. She gives her 110%. But she loves someone. I knew you loved me, but these last few months have shown me just how unconditional your love is for me. Man, I might as well be sure hurt. Man. From how you decorate the home and make it comfortable for us, to how you always support me in everything I do, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> You love me so much that you push me out of my comfort zone. You reaffirmed to me that choosing you was the best decision I've ever made. <sighs> we all know how long it's been for you and I to get to this moment right here. <sighs> there have been ups and there definitely have been downs, but we're here. <sighs> and leading up to this wedding, I didn't care for the venue. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> I didn't care for the food, the clothes, the fancy decorations. All I cared was seeing you happy. So if you're happy right now, I'm happy. I'm not gonna say what I'll promise you, what I'll do, because I already did in October. <laughs> <laughs> I already did, but what I will say is I'll continue to love you, to grow with you, to argue with you, to support you, and to lead us to the cross. I love you, Ale. I really do. I know I don't say it often, but I hope through my actions, you've seen how deep my love is for you. As I got to know you, yes, you were a bit of a mess, let's be for real. <laughs> but when I would see your serving heart through your actions and walking in your God-given calling, I felt you love God the way I love him. And you, <laughs> and you would move heaven and earth to show his love to those around you. Even if it is just listening to them as they sit on your chair getting a cup with you. Or even on a day like today, where all you wanted was to make sure your family was here to hear about how Jesus loved them, even as we celebrate our union. Thus far, being your wife has been the best, even in the middle of a difficult season in my life. God knows why things happen the way they do. And I'm grateful our journey to this day wasn't how we expected, but it was perfect for us. 
I enjoy every moment I deal with you. Every Bitcoin trading, work, <laughs> car conversation. I love every minute of hearing your passion. The way you smile and look as you talk, I never want to see that go away. So I promise to continue letting you go on about all those things, whatever you else you are passionate about, without holding you back. I promise that even when we're upset at each other, I'll do what I always do. Apologize by making you laugh, especially those times when I know it's my fault. <laughs> I promise to continue loving you with my excessive cuddling, hugs, and affection. Most of all, I promise to continue covering you in prayer and seeking God to continue going and being the best wife and partner in life I can be. We made it, and I can't wait to see what the rest of our lives will bring. I wouldn't change a thing in our journey to this altar. I love you. Marriage is a promise of love that endures all things. Marriage, therefore, is not to be entered into lightly. For by God's word, we are commanded to hold it in honor at all times. By the joining of hands, reciting of vows, exchanging of rings, you have shown your love and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Juan, you may now kiss your wife. Like when I close my eyes